What's going on everybody? So Physio Trader here and I wanted to just go over a little bit of a very quick trade recap that I took in the markets this morning. Um, a very small, very short day trading actually it was in and out probably I was done within uh, 30 minutes of the market open walked away around uh, just under $300. And so let's jump into it. So over here, um, unfortunately, I didn't get the, the screen adjusted to the options uh, quick enough, but uh, I do want to kind of showcase. So what I'm doing, I'm actually looking at, so right now, uh, this is same day expiration. That's why the options are so cheap. I'm looking at 950 calls. Um, this thing opened up around 890. We pushed towards 918, and I'm thinking we might be able to break above it. Just went long one call on the simple premise of um, my maximum risk here is $150. So uh, if this thing gets up to 950, I think we have a good opportunity. But now that we broke below 902, you know what, I'm just going to cut it um, because this thing is going to decay very, very quickly. Again, it is same day expiration. So unfortunately, I took that for a $32 loss. And again, I, I knew that the, the opportunity, the the risk first reward was in my favor because there was a very small finite amount that could be lost. Um, however, it is Tesla. So to think, you know, it can't move $30 in a day. That's laughable. It, you know, moves hundred dollars in a single day, um, repeatedly. All right. So here we are looking at 907 looks to be an area that is holding on really strong. Um, and so we're trying to reclaim VWAP right now. The entire market is headed down. The SKUs, the spies, everything is, uh, you know, falling down rather quickly. And Tesla is holding quite strong with respect to it. So if the, the SPY and the Q can turn around and turn green and go positive, then I think we're going to get that much more momentum, that much more protection to go further to the upside. But again, we do have to break 907. Uh, looking this, watching the level twos and seeing if I feel confident that we are going to break that 907 mark. We keep spitting up there, but uh, it seems like it's kind of more of like an algorithm trading right now. Things are going up, down, up, down. The spread is a little bit of wide on this one. It's kind of... Fridays get a little bit different because everyone's looking at options, same day expiration options, as well as next week. I have now converted over to next week options for $900 calls. I'm already in the money technically, um, and I have an entire week for this to work in my favor. Again, I'm looking to see if maybe I can scalp some of this on the dip. But right now, I'm really liking this candle. It's We're making a really small you know, bull pennant, bull flag right here. And I'm really liking this candle thinking that I have interest in adding or getting, you know, one below 903, and I may add on the break of 907. Um, I start with one uh, that lowers my risk just based on position size, and then therefore add to a winner. But now I do have that eight period average uh, that is going to act as an area of resistance. Again, really small channel right here. As the channel gets smaller, uh, my risk versus reward gets a little bit more in my favor. Watching here, really loving the candles that are forming right here. Spreads a little wide on this, about a 70 cent spread between the bid and the ask on the option chain. We're dropping between 900 a little bit lower, but now I'm thinking, okay, we're not going to reclaim VWAP. Watching level two's 900 is holding pretty strong. All right, right there. So I'm in there, got in there 39.15. Looking to see if we can reclaim above 905. Volume starts to pick up on this one. 
Again, one contract right there. Add in another two contracts at 40, 15, so a dollar difference on the second two. Long three contracts, but again, I might have just got suckered into this. We have to break 907. There, 908. Took out two of them at 40, 60 for $188. Have one left. Close that one out at 41.05. So the reason I'm closing out so quickly is because 910 is holding strong, and I don't want to get caught in this. I know if it breaks above it, then we have a really high chance of going back to the 915s. Looking at the option chain right now. Yeah, having held on just a little bit longer would have worked, but again, I have a busy day with work, and so it was really nice to just scalp in a quick $280 on that trade, leaving me with two, just under $250 uh, with that first losing trade. All right, so that is the trade right there. Um, very quick and easy day, but um, you know that that's kind of the goal is you know to to make a, a quick profit with a very short uh, time period, as well as you know just keeping my risk small. That's it for me. If you have any questions, reach out. Let me know. Catch you on the next one.